how did you actually get into this? Because clearly you have an art background. You know, I can see that you have a BFA in illustration that you study. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it's definitely that you started from a young age and realized I'm going to be an artist. This is going to be, you know, my career in some shape or form. But where was the point where you kind of realized like, okay, I'm going to try this? Because it's particularly interesting that you said that you started doing this in 2007, because back yeah. then, I mean, we did have, uh, I suppose, platforms that, you know, would what you could do something with, but like not to the same extent that you can now. Going viral was extremely difficult. It, it would be, I don't know, we're, we're very random stuff. Like if you take YouTube, for example, I mean, one of the biggest yeah. clips in that era was, you know, a kid buying another, his brother's finger. Yeah, it, I was thinking Charlie bit my finger. That's really <laughs> funny that you said that one. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like the landscape's changed a lot. And yes. now, now it's more about, as you said before, delivering content of value. I suppose it's in a way it's become like, like Netflix or HBO where people, you know, they subscribe to a particular person and they want consistently high quality stuff and they want that interaction. You know, it's in the, the major difference between say YouTube and HBO and, and Netflix and all those platforms is they go and make their programs, they release it. And then everyone says what they think. And then, you know, in the interim period, maybe they'll take that information and use it to make a better follow-up season. Maybe not whatever, but with YouTube, yeah. it's a constant kind of interaction, a constant situation where people are giving you feedback, good or bad, and that's shaping what you do. So like bringing yeah. it back, like how, how did you actually get into this? How did this become, something i suppose I, I want to take it back to the the moment that you were like okay let's let's try something what, what are we doing here yeah so i feel like for me there was there was more than one concrete moment for for me i i started with that just sketch when i was around four i'd always been tinkering with it i inadvertently taught myself how to do anything I wanted on an etch -a sketch without realizing that other kids weren't obsessed with it like I was. And I didn't realize that it was something other people couldn't do until I brought one to school in eighth grade. And that was, I was around age 12 by that point. So I'd already been, wow. I already clocked in eight years of time playing with this toy. And that's when I realized, whoa, this gives me a disproportionate amount of attention. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm into this. And I was already, you know, you, you saw that I have a BFA in illustration. I, I draw, I paint, I work digitally. I, I, I dip my hands in a lot of different artistic media. So when I started focusing more on Etch-A-Sketch, I, I moved on to high school and I was able to convince my teacher to let me do assignments and my art classes on Etch-A-Sketch. And I was sharing those. I started sharing them online around 2007 and I, you're, you're right. The barometer for like vi virality was just such a different thing back then. And I definitely didn't experience anything like remotely uh, compared to what you can do now. There just weren't as many resources available. I remember the first time I freaked out at something happening online. Uh, so this is a this is a weird aside. So I'm a big fan of the one hit wonder musician Thomas Dolby. I'm like obsessed with Thomas Dolby. He he did the one hit wonder song, She Blinded Me With Science. Um, and anyways, so I did an etch a sketch of Thomas Dolby and I shared it to his like fan email account or whatever. Oh, okay. And I got a response and I freaked out. I remember I was in like the computer lab in 10th grade. <laughs> Nobody else in my class even knew who this guy was. It didn't <laughs> matter to me. I was like squealing with girlish glee and I realized, oh my gosh, I have the power to connect with people through this strange little medium. I can jump past all of these barriers that most people will never be able to surmount you know, and, and I realized there's a lot of power in this toy. Um, but I was still planning to go to school, like beyond high school, I, I was planning to go to school for mathematics. Like I've always been really into math. So there was a very specific moment one day in my math class in my senior year where I was listening to the lecture and doing the math or whatever. And I looked down and I was subconsciously doodling on the margin of my notebook. And I looked down and it's like a light bulb went off. I realized this is what I wanna be doing. I wanna be drawing. This is what I'm doing subconsciously while listening to the math. Like I like math, I enjoy math, I'm proficient at math, but I love art and 
I knew it was a risk. I knew it was uh, probability speaking of a, a probably less lucrative career path. It was going to be trickier, a lot more competitive. Um, but I decided in that moment that I was going to uh, pull out of enrollment at the school that I was already committed to and switch gears and go to art school instead. Hi there. If you like this content, please make sure to like, share and subscribe because with your support, I'll be able to follow my dream of becoming a professional content creator. Thank you.